Hello, Taurus. All placements. Welcome to a November reading. We're doing three parts. First part, we're going to read on general, see what's up. And then career finance. And third part, we're going to do love and romance. We'll also pull advice guidance as needed if necessary. Now, let's see. I was picking up here, Taurus, that you have to remain persistent in the month of November because I feel like you're experiencing an exploitation of a vulnerability of yours, okay? It's almost as though something about this vulnerability is being highlighted or someone is specifically bringing this up much to your dismay here, okay? Now, the thing is, you can overcome this challenge. If you feel like you're not able to do something in the month of November, it feels like a personal thing here. I'm not really speaking on relationships. It feels like you're experiencing some sort of blockage. I just wanna tell you that you know how to progress. You know how to get yourself to the next step, at least, and that's the first step, and it's the hardest step. But once you get to that first step, you're able to make all the other steps just as easily, okay? You just gotta take the first step here, Taurus. You got this. That's what I'm saying. Okay, why is this popping out here? It's like the same thing. Okay, bottom of the deck, sweet memories. We have dried flower fairy. We're gonna see if anything else wants to come of this message here, okay? I do feel like it's saying here that you have all the answers, like you know already what you need. You have people speaking in your ear, talking in your ear, or trying to influence you or tell you what to do. Maybe some of them have good advice or they're trying to be of assistance to you, but it feels almost like you already know what you need to do here. And it, it's, it doesn't have anything to do with anybody else. I keep getting this for you. There's something about you and yourself and something about you being true to yourself and being loyal here. There's loyalty involved. Bottom of the deck, we have some discipline, training, consistency, and practice popping up, okay? We also have allure, desire, and manipulation. All right, eh? that's what I'm saying. So this here on its own is talking about Taurus being able to manipulate or change a situation with consistency, with diligence and practice here. That discipline energy, okay? Especially if someone is like talking in your ear, talking down on you, or this is that exploitation of that vulnerability that I was talking about, okay? That's what this is. It's, it's almost like your past is back to haunt you in some way. Like you have some bad memories or you had a bad experience. Um, something that hindered you in some way. You may feel like something clipped your wings at an early stage of your life even. Okay, it feels like this. But this is being faced or you're starting to be able to face this in a different way. I almost feel like it, it picks on you from time to time. This energy or if it involves a person, the person does, okay? But again, this isn't really about other people. This is about you taking your power back and changing things for the better because it does look like here you're wanting that discipline to be able to move forward in the first place, okay? Um, it's like, I got to stay consistent. So a lot of persistence, consistency is coming in. So here's ghost people, faceless ghosts and the haunted girl. That's what I'm saying. Okay. It's like a past experience, past um, energies. This is quite interesting too. I'm getting like a foggy memory involved in this. There could be someone who you feel denies a reality or like a memory is not very sharp. This is interesting. It's almost as though someone doesn't have all the facts straight when it comes to this, all right? It doesn't matter. I just wanna say, it does, I think you know that because this is what we're getting for you. We have cleanup time. This is mildew fairy. Um, fairies, yeah, cute, right? But we have some mildew to clean up here, meaning something has gone sour, all right? It's, it's stale, it's done, it needs to be tossed out or cleaned up. So we're getting rid of energies, snow angel. This is, the signs are with you already. You already know all of this. It most likely is more of 
an energy telling you you're on the right path if you're experiencing this, Taurus. Okay. Or to kind of nudge you to keep going and that you got this. Yeah, see, there's a burden on the bottom of the deck or when I split the deck here. Yeah, this is your burden right now, your burden to carry. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't feel like other people are involved. You could be trying to get rid of other influences. It's really not up to somebody else here. All right. Let's see. What else for Taurus? Yeah. New beginnings. Look at that. Immediately. Full card energy. Okay. Material, spiritual prosperity. Destiny. So you're stepping into your destiny here. This was a part of the process for you to recognize your true strength and power capacity to move forward, to change things in your future and not dwell on things from the past. So there's a shift here that is it's coming in or it's happening now. I know that you've already had some major activations astrologically. OK, all Taurus placements. But I see that this is setting you toward your true path, your true north during this time. Maybe this has something to do with your north node for some of you. Also 10th house energy. So we have patience on the bottom of the deck. Again, discipline. OK, you might need to keep that in mind here. It's about how consistent you are in your path in and how committed you can be okay material spiritual prosperity and destiny here is talking about a windfall or like you're stepping into a new a new vibe that's going to bring a lot of um abundance your way yeah and abundance is here it's saying material and spiritual so heartache and loss and letter very interesting I'm getting an older person here um, sending you a message. Yeah, communication on the bottom of the deck. So interesting how this happens. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, oracle and tarot and all that jazz. Um, so you have a message coming in from an older person. Maybe it's older than you or you just consider this person older person for some reason. All right, but I want to tell you that this is someone who is going to express to you some amount of sadness or sorrow or there's like an apology coming in as well let me see what's behind this we have adventure okay healing mm -hmm. healing the heart chakra obstacles and challenges lots of fives five 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 and five here big changes overcoming um devil card energy so yeah bad experiences or things that have kind of held you back maybe something toxic is being i'm hearing extradited why do i get this in certain readings was it yours before i don't recall okay so there's healing coming in with these changes heart activations here Interesting. I want to tell you this also. Um, there's a feminine activation coming in. So even if like, let's say you or someone around you is acting through like a masculine energy, like achieving or which is not bad. We all have these energies and it has its time and place um, like acting out wanting to achieve or needing to know things or understand things. What I'm seeing here is more of like less factually based energy and more attuned to feelings coming in. And that's what this conversation or this communication coming in is wanting to talk to you about, but it's helping you wrap up a chapter and wrap up some stuff of the past that we no longer want to be in, like the energy. Okay. So that's what that is. Why don't we get into your, we're going to pull some that may be a Sagittarius, by the way, or someone who has a placement. Okay. That's what I was seeing, but it doesn't have to be, my love. Let's get into career finance for you. Okay. I'm hearing, is it me or is it them? Okay, so there may have been a question about blame or... You could have been dealing with someone who was blaming you for things. This is what you're getting over. All right. 
And someone insists too much. They're insisting, they insist, they insist that they know, that they know the answers, that this is the truth. I don't think there's an absolute when it comes to whatever this person is saying or doing, Taurus. You are aware of this. All right, I'm hearing for career finance here, I'm getting filigree. Okay, pedigree, credentials, amnesty. All right. This is sounding like someone is needing to be qualified. Are you are you looking to be qualified for something here, Taurus, during this time? It feels like you're learning something new or, or trying to find some information here or gain more experience. Okay. What else? Yeah, the Page of Cups. Nine of Cups. Judgment, Five of Swords. Make sure you're seeing this, okay. Wow. Yep. I see you needing to go after something that you've been wanting to do. It could be something that you left behind in the past here, Taurus, or you had this idea, it's so great, it's so grand. Um, it's almost like you had to ditch it or you left it alone because you thought it was too grand or it was too too big of a reach here. Um, something wasn't for you. This could have been something that you were telling yourself. I'm seeing eight of swords energy. Okay. Or maybe you just became too busy or people were telling you it wasn't for you. Okay, there's some voices that you could be hearing and I'm not I'm not saying like a mental illness here. Okay, so I hope not make sure you talk to somebody if that's happening to you. But um, I'm saying like you were telling yourself all these bad things that it wasn't gonna happen or it wasn't for you or you didn't have the time. You know, it's almost like these, maybe they're excuses. You were kind of telling yourself this, you sabotage yourself. This is what I'm seeing, okay? It's time for you to decide if this is actually for you right now because it's coming back up for a reason. There's a wish fulfillment in whatever this is, this path that you wanted, this idea that you had. It could be something creative or something very fulfilling in your career path here. Maybe it's like you need to go learn something first for some with this hermit and this temperance energy, okay? Because Mercury and Jupiter, you know, it's kind of like learning and higher knowledge. Maybe you need that next level credential, certificate, um, whatever this is, you might need more skill for some of you. But I see that this is where you're being guided right now. It's a matter of whether or not you're going to pick it up. If you're going to pick up those swords and actually act upon this desire, because you're changing the way that you see yourself, therefore changing the way that people see you. You're going to show up in a different way. This is what I see all right. It looks like you're going to be happy here. Yeah, Emperor. Maybe you had to tell a relationship you were over it and this is what made space in your in your room. Maybe you made space in your room. I was going to say in your world, okay, or in your schedule. It's almost like you had to let go of uh, maybe a group of friends or acquaintances here even so that you could boss up or level up here. There's something like that going on. Okay, is there anything else about this? It looks like a good decision and it has your name. I'm hearing tatted on it. Maybe you know someone. Hmm, your name tatted. Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing higher learning again. The three of wands and the justice. Yep. So you're, you're considering right now this decision, if you're able, if you're capable, is this the right path for me? Am I, you know, grounded in reality here when it comes to, is this practical? Can I manage? That's what this looks, okay? Um, it's one step at a time here with that page and this page here is what I'm getting. Yeah, it's interesting too. Maybe you have a family to take care of, people depending on you, or it's almost like you're busy. Like you have a lot going on here. Big family, big dreams, big wishes. And it's like, how do I find the time for everything here? Okay, you could also be stuck in some sort of routine right now. Um, like you're committed to whatever it is you're already doing and you're trying to find the time. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you can find the time. 
It's a matter of how bad you want it. It looks like you want it pretty bad. Okay, it's one step at a time. It's cool. What else? Maybe two more here. Yeah, three of cups. I also see that there are some people here who may be naysaying your idea. It's an air sign. Um, Libra or an Aquarius. It could be your friends too. Like, a, like, okay. You have a Virgo and a Scorpio here as well. Someone's poo-pooing your idea. Yeah, it's like, it's almost like someone was talking down on this saying, no, it's not for you or it's going to be boring or that's dumb. It's, it's like that. No, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't listen to that here. Mm -mm. Not that you are, but I'm just saying someone's, someone's making it a little bit difficult here. Okay. That's what I see. It's standing in the way of your dream or your, your aspiration. Okay. I hate to say it like that, but that's what's popping up here. All right. Oh, wow. So we're doing love and romance here. All right. Now, now we are. And I am getting someone is waking up to a disaster or someone is waking up and realizing something, it could be quite literally too. You wake up and there's like ruin, all right? So I feel like you wake up and something feels different or someone acts different. What's going on here for Taurus and love and romance? Um, it feels temporary, I'm just saying. What's going on for Taurus? I'm also getting the vibe that you feel someone is suppressing you. It's like, I don't mean to step on your toes, but maybe somebody said this. Um, yes, they did. If they're saying that, yes, they did. All right, so let's see. Here you are, the Hierophant, the Ten of Cups. Things are looking good here. Okay, so the Knight of Wands, the Three of Pe Okay, so some of you guys have another Taurus or a Sagittarius who is involved with you here in Love and Romance. This Sagittarius person or this Taurus person is coming back around and they're wanting to go study with you. They have an offer for a relationship with you. Someone here needs to choose this and only this. And I feel like that is what is on the table because there are some decisions being made, some choices, some planning, some ideas. This is someone coming toward you and saying, maybe even at the detriment of another situation. It's like they're leaving either a job or a relationship here to come toward you. And they're saying, I envision my world with you. I wanna go steady. Let's stop this back and forth in and out stuff um, because you make me happy. That's what this person is saying. And they're saying, I choose you. Okay, is this Pokemon Go? What else is this? No, hey, I love Pokemon Go. Okay, so. Let's see. It's just what it feels like. Okay, so the Ten of Swords. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. So here you are basking in your own accomplishments, feeling secure in your home. I feel like you have a nice outside setup. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's a patio, a porch, a balcony, okay, a backyard, a garden. I am seeing some greenery, some shrubbery, all right? So I feel like outside is very peaceful. It's very zen to you here in the month of November. So the two of cups, the hangman, also this knight of swords, after this 10 of swords goes down. Interesting too, there could be someone, yeah, look at this. This, this person is, leaving behind some type of situation here okay this is what they're doing like i said it's it's something i don't know if they have family they live with family or you know they're moving traveling to come toward you it's like they're leaving behind a lot of stuff to come forward here and it's interesting too because i feel like they're 
What's up with this intensity? There's a condition here. It's like you're not supposed to do somebody dirty or somebody needs to come clean or somebody needs to, you know, stop stabbing people in the back here or just like put everything out on the table, put all the cards on the table even. Yeah. Anyway, this is some, like I said, okay, so tower, there was some sort of ending, okay, with you, with another situation. It feels like to me someone is leaving an entire situation to come toward you or vice versa if you have to. That's just what it feels, right? Yeah, the three of cups, I'm asking, so it looks like, okay, yeah, the devil, this is somebody who could have been dating a lot or they have some attachments to other people. Um, it may not even be one person, whether it's romantic or what they got going on. I don't know. It looks like they got a lot of people, all right? A lot of balls in their court right now. And they're running away from that to come chase after you, Taurus, because you're over here. Both of your indicators are here. And this person is running away from situations with an s at the end plural to come toward you okay it's like a realization oh i realize you know how well we connect here i'm going to make this promise to you all of this stuff is interesting though to me like i feel like you're happy i also don't see you like doing anything i don't know uh rude to this person yeah Okay, this person could have left a Capricorn behind. I'm seeing three cards of this. There could be a Capricorn involved here. Show me, Taurus. Yeah, so they're like, I'm done with that. And The Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So you're not necessarily sure with this Nine of Wands, of course. It's almost like... Um, Ooh, it is a fire sign. Or it's almost like someone acts like a fire sign or is a fire sign opposed by this Gemini energy here, okay? You're over here wondering if they have anything else, else up their sleeve from what I'm seeing here with that ace and that seven. It's like, why so many illusions here? Yeah, I see that. I feel it too. You may be aware that this person has someone else like pursuing them or like trying to keep things together with them. Yeah. Seven of Cups plus lovers. Yeah. And the Queen of Wands. It's like this is something that you would want or desire or you have wanted or desired. And this is a person coming in with like, I don't know, almost like you don't trust them. You have some sort of guard up or this person does. And it's because of secrecy, if that's the case. If this person acts like kind of strange or something doesn't add up with them, it's because they're not being completely honest during this time. It feels like they're not completely cutting ties with their situations. Why don't we find out what's going on with this person and their situations? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at, see the devil again. When I asked about their situation, it was three of cups plus devil. Now we're getting devil again for their situation. And yeah, the eight of cups was behind. This is someone who realizes or says that they're not emotionally satisfied where they are, but there's some type of attachment that's keeping them where they are. They also have a strong um, propensity to like feel very lusty during this time, or maybe that's what kind of situation they're dealing with, whether it's with you or another person here, okay? They're telling you that they're making some secret plans to kind of leave or dip out or drop out, or they do this behind someone's back. It's like they're trying to keep things secretive. When I leave this person, I don't want them to know kind of energy or when I leave my situation here. Yeah. 
Someone's sneaking around. All right. Coming toward you. This is who's coming toward you, by the way. I don't know if you're dealing with them. Interesting. You're like, I choose goals, aspirations. The tower again on the bottom. You're minimizing some type of, uh, I'm hearing no risk, no reward. Interesting. You're minimizing some sort of blow up here. Let's go ahead and break this down for your, yeah, three of swords. Does that make sense? We keep seeing some three of swords energy. Let me see Taurus in love and someone else in love and romance, please. Whoever is relevant during this time for Taurus. I was kind of over that reading. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. So, Taurus, you're coming up with the King of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Page of Wands. So something is unfulfilling for you, and you're leaving this behind here, okay? You're leaving someone behind, a person behind, but you're also showing up with some very strong fire energy yourself. So it looks like you have a lot of energy coming your way, a lot of passion coming your way, especially with an Ace of Cups situation. There's someone here flirting with you, very attractive type energy, okay? A lot of communication back and forth. This is someone who likes to dress nice or is very charismatic, or this is you. Let me see who you're dealing with. Uh, could be an age difference here. Let me see, who are you dealing with? Who's Taurus dealing with here? You're showing up fiery. Do you have fire in your chart? Okay, another fire sign energy. So we have Queen of Cups, World, and Nine of Pentacles. Ooh. <laughs> What is this person doing? Whoever you're connecting with in the month of November here has very strong feelings, okay? This could be someone who likes to protect their energy. They protect their space and they spend a lot of time alone, whoever this person is. They're very, um, I guess, independent or they're very secluded. They like to like spend time alone they entertain themselves this is who we are talking about here this is someone who doesn't mind being alone sitting alone staying alone for long periods of time here they are very um venusian type energy this is a very loving type energy but they also spend a lot of time on like hobbies or being holed up away at home Quite interesting. Maybe you like that. You could be attracted to this person because of that. Or this is vice versa. It's like there's attraction to someone who likes to be private. Extreme amount of privacy. They really have their own stuff together or they rely a lot on themselves here. They're very emotionally... Um, they fulfill themselves. They're very aware. There's something about this that has you excited. So I feel like there's a love offer coming your way, Taurus, but I also feel like you're flirting or talking to this private individual or this secretive individual. This is someone who is single. They could be a little bit at a distance or it's almost like they at times are hard to get a hold of. I'm getting the vibes of a daydreamer here as well. Okay. They have love to offer and I feel like they're offering it to you. What is this person doing? What's this person doing? They're protective. Um, I feel like this is somebody who's protecting their feelings right now, especially. Yeah. Hmm. Ace of Swords and the Six of Cups. This is someone who you could have cut contact with here. Taurus, water sign energy, 
Venus, Virgo, fixed signs. Oh yeah. Empress. The Seven of Swords. Two of Swords. I feel like this person is being very passive, but they're going to be reaching out here, okay? The thing is, even though they're getting in contact with you, I feel like this person is very, very fond of you. They have strong feelings. There's still an indecision here, okay? It's almost like um, this is someone who feels like they need to be extra careful with the situation here. Why do they feel this way? All right. Okay, yeah. Um, so this is someone who, it's almost like they wanna come in with a small offer or it's like um, baby steps. Oh my gosh, we keep saying something about that in your reading. They feel like they don't wanna have to fight for a position here or it's almost like I want things to evolve naturally and not have to force things or not have to compete or whether this is you or them, okay? This is someone who's definitely thinking about everything as it relates to that. And it's, so what does this person want with Taurus? What does this person want with Taurus? Okay, again, the strength. Page of Swords the Emperor, and the Ten of Swords. Is this somebody who's afraid of like hurting or hurting you? It's what it feels. Yeah, the Three of Swords. It's like they perceive an ending coming in They want an ending to happen. One of you guys, according to this person, is trying to exit a situation, exit another situation, or exit this situation, okay? Because there's some amount of like, I don't wanna, yeah, compete or cause drama or have fights, all right? This, it's like that, this person is saying. So they're very cautious about that, okay? So let's see here on Taurus's side with this Ace of Cups stuff. What's going on here? What's Taurus looking at over here? Someone has you real heated. Okay, so Taurus with higher font energy. Okay, some of you guys are very focused on another earth sign. Maybe it's a Virgo. This is someone that you feel very strongly about or like you have an intense desire, almost like an animalistic passion or you're super attracted to this person. They make you feel like you need to get up and do something, okay? What is this person doing? What's going on with this person here? Six of Wands and the Eight of Cups. So that you could be very focused on someone who has ghosted you or someone that you ghosted here, Taurus, during this time. Yeah. Sun card. This person is coming back in. Some of you guys, this is someone who wants a good stroke of the ego and they're coming in for that, okay? It's gonna be like on a whim. If this person pops up again, someone that, you know, is maybe not talking to you or someone who kind of took a step back, they're, they're coming in on a whim, deciding to speak or talk, or it's almost like an instant, I'm hearing gratification. It's like an instant um, invitation. It's like, hey, can you meet up? Hey, you wanna talk? Hey, let's go somewhere. It's something like that, like last minute even. All right, tell me about this page of want. This is someone that you're more established with 
than this other person. So it kind of makes sense now that they feel almost like they need to stay away, especially if one of you has somebody involved, right? Tell me about this page of wands. Yeah, the star. I do feel like this is someone um, at a distance here that you talk to. You like this person this person likes you there's a very soft like attraction here between you guys okay i feel like this is someone who's being careful um we said that though so i do feel like there is some back and forth communication i just feel like there's still some distance um emotionally as well as almost like i don't know where this is going that's what's going on there okay I feel like you're starting to suspect this person is in love with you. And I feel like they are, okay? So some of you guys are resisting this situation during this time with this person or this person is, okay? Because of the back and forth or the inconsistency that's going on between you and them. So here's the deal, Taurus, for whoever I'm reading for, it's you having another person or this person does if it's vice versa but in this reading it's taurus the way i pulled it okay sometimes readings are vice versa but it's almost like should i visit this person should i pursue this are we going to you know put effort into the situation and there's a lot of resistance going on but i feel like your attraction is developed for someone else, okay? And that's kind of why it's playing out this way with this other individual at a distance, okay? Advice, guidance. For Taurus. Yeah, with this cleanup time, someone needs to get rid of the past energies or past energies that have gone stale, gone rotten, or something is not coming of it. That's what that's about there, okay? So I feel like um, there's a game of seduction going on on two parts here. And I don't say game like someone is being manipulative, but I just feel like people are seducing each other. You see what I'm saying? All right. Advice, guidance, Taurus, for this situation or any situation, what does Taurus need to know in the month of November? Do you want to say anything to Taurus during this time, spirit? I'm hearing letter T. Terrence, Teresa, something like that. Terrence, ter 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 I don't know. Okay. Oh my, what is going on here? The two of swords, ah, uh, kind of figures, huh? Um, Taurus, all right, if you feel stuck, if you feel uh, blocked, if you feel indecisive in any which way, Spirit is saying it's time that there's clarity coming in. You're gonna see things for how they are and the way that they need to be seen. You're gonna see the truth of the matter. You're gonna see the relationships around you clearly for what they are, what they mean to you. And also there's a choice to be made here, okay? It's almost like, yeah, I choose you right here with the Three of Cups, the Four of Wands, Two of Swords, Ace of Swords, all right? This is coming in. Um, I feel like it's knocking at the door. It's almost like, hello, Taurus, uh, are you here? Do you wanna talk? What do you think? What do you say? It's this way, okay? I see a lot of communication that is needed during this time that will bring you clarity. We have mercurial energy here. We have the sun energy, oh, Venus, my bad. Venus energy here. But now that I say sun, it's probably also, okay. Something is needing to be chosen here, guys. That's what this is. And you're going to understand it better through communication or clarity that's coming in. Exactly. It's almost like if someone is avoiding a conversation, it's coming in or it needs to be had. Okay. I don't know. There's someone here that you're, you're needing to actually make the decision to either say yes or no to. And I feel like you know who that is. It could likely be this fire sign energy 
from what I'm seeing, because that's who's showing up down here. It's like you're, you will know because you're not satisfied anyway, or it's not going anywhere anyway. Now, I'm not here to tell you what to do. Of course, this is just take it or leave it kind of energy, all right? Spirit, is there anything else you want to say to Taurus? Okay, I'm hearing something about MMA, like mixed martial arts or like boxing. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. Yeah. It's almost like rip the band-aid off, okay? Ooh, the hangman. Rip the band-aid off. Um, go through with whatever it is that you're already knowing you need to go through with with the hangman. I also see there's a relationship here coming in. Friendship, relationship, all kinds of things. Maybe this is a friend's relationship or your friends introduce you to someone. Okay, but I see a new love offer. It's just that you gotta get rid of the old mildew here with that mildew fairy, okay? Now, the thing is, with this, the signs are with you already. You know about your past here, okay? You've already faced that. It's just a matter of actually going through with your decision. With Hangman, I feel like you've kind of already been flexible. You've seen things the way that you need to see them. But I also feel like there's more that you're going to be realizing here. If you feel like you know it all, you're going to have that light bulb moment of, oh my gosh, okay, that's coming in here real strong. And it's just going to be so absolutely blatantly clear to you that you have to go with this cup that's coming in and that ace of swords. It's almost like, okay, this is what I need to do now. That's what I hear. Anything else for Taurus? Some of you guys just need to cut off some like friends here. All right, the queen, the wands. Yeah, it's it's past energy. It could be a Sagittarius or this fire sign energy or someone who exhibits like a someone that you kind of go on and off with or it's been a while or something like this, okay? Popping up here to say hello. Yeah, again with the temperance energy. You're going to be making this decision by the end of December. Huh. Okay. That's what I see. It's going to change. It's going to flip up there. Flip up? I don't know what that means. Okay. It's like someone's burdening you. That's how you know. Okay. Time to heal is what I'm seeing. Okay, what else is here? Anything else? Five of Cups energy is like feeling dissatisfied for what happened or feeling sad about what is being lost or feeling sad about something that no longer exists, okay? But you're having a wake-up call. You're experiencing an aha moment, okay? That's what this is. So whoever this is is kind of coming in or coming in and out. This is not going to go on for far um, too much longer, I'm hearing far too long as well. I almost said that. That's not. It's going to be canceled out here. Okay. I also see that there is someone pursuing you, which we've been saying. So you might be able to give that a chance if you even want to. You don't have to do anything. All right. For Taurus, please and thanks. Ooh, the beautiful one. I love this card. Oh, I'll read it next. This is the bottom of the deck first. Okay. We have the goddess of light. We are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light. Um, Taurus, I don't know if this was Virgo that got this or Cancer, but I feel that they got this. Okay. Maybe you have something relevant going on there, but this is talking about Um, people mirroring you. But I feel like this is about you taking back your own power. Sometimes people will become what they think you need or what they think you want in order to have a part in your life, to be relevant to you and your story and this is a very tricky energy, all right? So if that's resonating with you, this is somewhat of a 
realization that you're having as well. Maybe someone wasn't really who they are, but they were behaving as though the way you wanted them to or what they thought you needed. I also feel like there could have been some lying to the self going on here. You are this person, okay? You're bringing in some sacred soulmate energy here, by the way. With this creation and this mirror. Yep. So we have the goddess of all that flows. I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. So it's time for you to see things for what they are, and you are anyway, or see people for who they are and the role they play in your life. And also to be able to bring into being what you know to be true. So this is you acting out of your authentic self to birth in some new creation, new energy, new beginnings, new ventures that are coming in. We keep to getting aces for you. Okay, so it is here, especially Ace of Cups. You have a new love coming in. There's also healing and peace to be had during the month of November. Very beautiful energy. Um, I would give this reading four to six weeks here to complete the cycle. Is what I'm hearing, the cycle, all right? Whatever cycle this is, I don't know. But I love you so very much, Taurus. Feel free to check previous future reads for more or different information, your other placements. Friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, peep and Tom, peep and Tony down the street, check their placements too, so we know what they're up to. I love you. Kisses. Bye-bye.